Um, so yes, I'm Justin from Benji now, and I'm going to be talking about the work we've been doing on uh, AI-assisted content and course generation in Moodle. Uh, where we started from, uh, looking at how we could use AI in Moodle, there are a couple of problems that the person building the course needs to face, a couple of things they need to master. First of all is generative AI prompt authoring. So um, as I think we're all becoming aware, it's not always easy to write a good prompt. And you know we can always just say, hey, give me information about something. But if you want to structure that with um, some instructional design, uh, it gets a lot harder. Uh, the second thing we have to do, well, we're Moodle. So a um, lot of configuration, a uh, lot of parameters when we're building a course, when we're adding activities, takes time, takes expertise. Uh, third thing is, uh, uh, we've seen a lot of talks um, over the last two days about how many AI tools there are and how fast that landscape is moving. If you want to generate text, if you want to generate image, if you want to generate video, everything requires a different tool. So requires a lot of time and mastery. And finally, the AI tools are outside of Moodle. Yeah, since 4.5, now we're starting to have them in. Uh, but the AI tools are mostly outside of Moodle. We generate content in the tool outside, then we need to export it, copy it, and paste it back into Moodle. And that takes time as well. So where we ended up, where we are today, is a solution where we want to generate a course using a simple natural language query, not a prompt, a query, which we then transform into a prompt um, uh, to generate a complete and ready to use course. Secondly, uh, we have a system whereby you can enrich and edit that because the, the generation is not always ideal. We want to be able to iterate and improve that. So we have a system to uh, be able to iterate and improve uh, a content with AI um, with an embedded AI assistant. Thirdly, we want to be able to share that. So we've created all this content. We want to be able to click and share it with our students and um, uh, uh, easily on social media um, to attract new people. And uh, fourthly, we ended up building a plugin which allows people to, from their own Moodle, um, to generate a course um, uh, and set it up in their own Moodle with an LTI connection to, to, to our content. And demonstration. All right, so what should I build a course on? Okay. That's, that's <laughs> we're going to try. Okay, so we make a query, we tell it what we want, and it's going to try and build it. So this is obviously, um, we're using a typical um, structure, maybe we're, and hopefully we're going to port over to the, um, the Moodle um, AI implementation soon, but basically we take the query, we enrich it with a prompt, we send it off currently to open AI, but we're pretty much agnostic on which backend we use. It sends back a result, which we structure uh, a structured JSON result, which we then use to build the course and the content. Right, so we've got our three sections. Let's see, introduction to underwater basket weaving, basic techniques, advanced techniques, and we also add a certificate at the end. Okay, so you have the structure there, and let me expand it. You see here, so currently we're generating pages and quizzes but we're working on adding other activities, not to make it more interactive. Let's have a look at what it generated. Okay, pretty succinct. Okay, let's see if we can develop that. And now we can use the AI. So we, we, we have Tiny running here. Okay, so classic Tiny, edit it. We can do it by hand. So we're not replacing the teacher, we're giving the teacher an assistant. So they, can, they have an, uh, a first initial text, no blank page which I can edit. And we also have the AI at the bottom here. So let's say, uh, let's see if we can uh, develop the discussion. So, typical kind of prompt. 
and that's going to allow us to translate also um, lots of other elements. Uh, we can add examples, we can add um, uh, a bibliography. There we go. So initial succinct discussion, we've developed it. Let's see. Uh, add some online resources. And um, unlike what we saw in the Moodle, the current Moodle implementation, um, our discussion with the AI is contextual. So the query we get, we take here gets uh, promptified. We add in the, um, the context from the course to the section, to the page. We send all that content up when it, for, so that it works on it and gives us a, a pertinent response. So there we go. We've got some online resources added on here. Now I'm not gonna click on any of those because we have some hallucinations which we're still working on. So we're just gonna say that it works. Okay, save that. And uh, I have my page, nice page. Um, and so you see we generate some other pages and I have one quiz in here. Okay, so let's have a look. So we, up until very recently, we generated a Moodle quiz directly, um, but uh, we wanted to do something a little more simple. Um, so we have this simplified quiz that we, we developed in another project. So the primary material, so I think Willow will read. Classic QCM here, uh, basic read pattern, blah, 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 blah. But what's really interesting is that we can actually just convert that to a Moodle quiz. And it should be over here, there we go. So, there we go. Now we have a standard Moodle quiz um, that you can work with as normal. Um, so if I complete the course, I get a, a certificate of achievement. So that's another activity to, that we generate. We add it in there. The other thing we've done here, which you don't see, is we've done all of the completion configuration, the language configuration. If we generate a course in English, the course is in English. Um, um, okay. Um, completion is generated. Uh, uh, so there's no, there's no pr uh, configuration to do, although you do still have access to the parameters if you want to change it. The other thing we added was a share button. So generate in one click, edit in one click, and share in one click. So the share gives us a QR code, which you are welcome to scan right now so that we can uh, all learn about basket weaving. I s not, not that interesting a subject, apparently. Okay. Um, the other thing we do also is we generate an LTI. So this is really Moodle is acting as an LTI provider. Um, so we generate all of the LTI configuration, which you can then integrate in another platform if you so wish. So everybody who wanted to scan it, scanned it. Great. And uh, well, we can see if anybody's come in here. So there we go. So we, uh, this is a, a, a reporting widget we built as well. So I can see that there are three people who've come in and I can see when they've started, when they ended, how long they take, their grade, how much time they spent in the course. And anybody that comes onto the platform as a student or as a teacher um, is able to create courses. So here's my underwater basket weaving. We do generate a course image. Currently we don't generate section images because um, images cost a fair more, uh, more money to generate than, uh, than, than, than text. Um, so you can see here, you can see there are seven people in the course already. That's fantastic. Uh, we have three that have started it, nobody's completed, and here I have some statistics later on about how long it takes to finish, um, what is the average grade. Um, so anybody who comes into the platform can then create their own course on whichever subject you so wish. Um, that's the demonstration. I can see I've gone really fast. Um, for those of you who are interested, um, how we do it. translation so uh, so let's see so the architecture that we have today um, we're taking a natural language career we can also upload a document so if you're a teacher with your own documents your PDF or your PowerPoint you can upload that and it will generate the course in the same way with the quiz if you so wish uh, YouTube coming soon so you can upload a YouTube uh, link and it will generate a course from the YouTube transcript um, we're using OpenAI or Zero OpenAI, but we're open to other platforms. 
and we generate the course, generate sections, activities, resources, we configure the completion, the gradebook, we generate course images, we generate a course certificate, and we set the course up as an LTI provider. We also have the LTI play, the plugin, as I said, so this allows us, this plugin uh, can be installed in your own Moodle, and uh, I'll give you an example. It allows you to create a course remotely. So let's see. So here I'm on another platform, also one of our platforms. Okay, so here I can say, uh, create an empty course with five sections and a quiz in each section. So this is now, it's the same interface, but it's a plugin. And what it's going to do, it's going to call um, the AI um, motor on, on our platform generate a course and it's going to create a single activity course on your platform with an LTI external tool. Um, so you have the course on your platform. Uh, it's a long way to back to France from here. very long way apparently I have been having some time out so well while it's doing that it's basically um, let's wait for it to finish so um, our roadmap we're working on producing high quality content uh, it's really a tool for trainers for teachers to assist them so uh, we're working on the, 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 the content quality. We're working on being able to, from that course, then generate presentation slides, course handouts. So we have a central course with a central source of knowledge, and you can generate all of the artifacts that you need for teaching. Um, we're working on other Moodle activities. And of course, um, I think we're going to see a presentation later on, but coming very soon, one button translation of an entire course, uh, which would be great. For learners, looking at the other sides where we're using the course content to the tutor. So we've seen a lot of projects on that. It's a small extension of what we're doing. And learners, can they contribute to the course um, by taking notes and sharing that with their class? We're looking into that too. So let me see if it finished. It did. So here I'm on my platform and click on the course. And so now you have the, the course on your platform and it gives you direct access uh, to the course and here you have as you see the five empty sections so this is an interesting side effect wasn't an initial uh, requirement but uh, you know it allows us to set up a blank course so the teacher has no technical stuff to do they just go in and do their uh, content if you want to try it out QR code any, any please do any questions any questions any comment yes can you ask the generator to use specific OER content from a library that's shared? Uh, we, not currently. We can we can uh, set a rag uh, with your OER content if that is uh, a way for you to do so. The, we, it's getting. Yeah. Um, sure. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Once the API exists, please let us know. It's. Uh, we can almost insert an image with a text prompt. And so going to further to be, to add an image of, uh, from Google Images, you know, we can almost do that. So the same thing for Moodle.net will be there soon too. Basically, the, the main idea be, be behind what we do is uh, basically AI is usually used to enhance uh, features locally in systems. And we decided to use it as a way to bypass all the pain points in Moodle adoption. And well, uh, so that is how to create a course, how, what is e-learning, um, how do I generate content, how do I structure a course, etc. And I mean, I, I've done hundreds of times a demo where I dictate the, the course brief, I get the course, I've done that with some of you in the room maybe, uh, I, I share the course, I. Um, 
share, share, I edit it, I translate it online, I share it, all this takes like three minutes. And anybody in the room who's been trying to convert a teacher to uh, create a course on Moodle knows it might take a bit more time. What I'd really like to do next from after seeing the AI subsystem is for us to be able to call um, all of the actions from a text prompt. So any action that's developed for Moodle, uh, we can just call it from the text prompt, add an image, etc. And to yes. end with, to end with, this is free. You can use it as much as you want. The only cap is 25 learners per course, and we have a, a commercial version that is for organizations wanting more advanced features, and that is 1,000 uh, euros a month. And we work with uh, Moodle, fellow Moodle partners for uh, sales. Any requests? We're going to be uh, in the lobby room. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.